Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Welcome to weekly butcher friendly background number 18 I think. If not you're gonna see it in the title. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start with some um, ephemera or old book pages and uh, I want to use those really cheap metallic Yamuto something like that I'm gonna put the link in the description the name in the description they're around eight nine dollar so they're really not expensive but to have them show off really nice I need to chisel a little bit my pages And I have prepared two pages. And I make sure that all the text is really uh, covered completely. Usually I'm not interested in those white borders, but that's totally personal preference. If you like them, you can use them too. that the side to dry and just so this one on the table oh well What I have done before I even turned on the camera, like five minutes ago, I did use my spray bottle and wet the paints a little bit so I can pick them up more easily. I will be back when those pages are dry. So while the pages still are drying a little bit, I'm going to paint a, a greenish background here. And as usual, I have already um, chesseled the manila folders. Just use different kind of greens. I think I'm gonna let that dry and go over a second time. In the meantime, those are really dry, except that I just added some green. <laughs> oh well. Now I'm gonna go for some purples, I think. And again, just, and I know you can't see it. Here we go. What I have noticed is that with metallics you never get a really true red. There are always some on the coppery side. I mean I just haven't found one yet. Probably gonna go over a second time too. And what about some blues?
it is all dry. Our next step is gonna be we're gonna die cut some flowers. And if you don't have uh, a punch, you maybe have a die cut, and if all fails, you still can cut it by hand. And as I said, I don't like the white borders, so I'm gonna tear them off. I'm just gonna die cut flowers. Any flower shape would work, that is from the paper studio, whatever this means, <laughs> no idea. I have them since a while. I'm gonna make a flower arrangement as a background. I will be back when I have Uh, punch the uh, a bunch, punch the bunch flowers. Is <laughs> to simply add those flowers to the grass we have painted, and I use Mod Podge mat just because it does it doesn't stick so much as a, a gloss medium. have to work rather quickly because it is a watercolor which reacts with the... Uh, when you make it wet, it's water based. But if you work quick enough and once the mop potch is dry, it stays the way it is. And I do overlap them. I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting. But if you like like a clean arrangement, like in a regular pattern, that's fine too. It's just not me. <laughs> So that's what it looks like now. I know you can hardly see it, but what about that? So it's a rather subtle background, which isn't a bad thing per se. So I hope you had fun and I hope to see you soon again.